morning from Puck Ben. He has a lovely view from uh, just in front of our hotel. Uh, there's our boat down there and the river and the clouds all over the mountains. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. Nice and cool, funny enough. Very nice and cool. And the river going up. It's lovely. Looking forward to the new day and uh, the adventures and the sights and sounds that it's going to hold. And uh, yeah, good morning from Midlife Travel Tales again. Good morning from Midlife Travel Tales. So there's the little van, the little green van there. That's what brings you to your, uh, picks you up for your hotel, brings you back from your hotel that you've chosen. You get three options on the cruise and you can choose your own as well. And there's everybody getting ready for the day. But uh, that's a cute little van. Yeah, there we go. And everybody getting ready for the day. Nice new day, quite early in the morning. It should be great. We're leaving our mooring, all the boats stacked up from last night. And we're heading out to the great Mekong River again. Cindy, good morning. And uh, yeah, the adventure continues. <laughs> Yeah, we can get an insight into what uh, this is the back of the boats, it's where the people live. And these uh, the families live at the back of these boats. And you can see house, kitchen, veranda, engine, everything's at the back of the boats. Quite incredible. <laughs> Seems like we're in a little bit of a race here against the public boat. We're on a more private boat. I think our driver's in a little bit of a hurry. We'll see. I think we've been catching him for about 10 minutes. So I'm sure we're going to overtake him. Quite exciting. We're on a boat race on the Mekong River. So uh, we're overtaking. It's always a good thing to be a winner. Boat race on the Mekong River. There we go into the, into the front. We're winning. Officially. It's uh, quite a chilly morning. Cindy's got a blanket on, a lot of other people have got a blanket on. With the wind blowing through the boat, it's a bit quite chilly, it's quite amazing. Yeah, we are on the Mekong and uh, people have got blankets. So we believe this is where they are gold mining. So this is a gold mining operation. And they, the rocks and everything, and they're loading it up and then they put it through a gold mining process. This is a gold mining process quite incredible here you know, along the river. He has the captain and his son and uh, he's driving the boat making sure we don't hit any of the rocks. There's, a, there's the young man who's learning and there's uh, our direction keeping an eye on all the rocks because there are a lot of rocks, a lot of eddies. This is the, the full control. He has the captain.
So we've got a new driver of the boat. The young boy is in charge. Not sure how old he is. I don't know where his uh, uncle is. Dad is. But uh, hopefully he's around. But the boy's doing really well. We're going down the down the river here. Looking good. No crashes yet. All good. We've got lunch again. This is great. Looks different to yesterday's. So uh, we're really spoilt on this. Uh, Cruz is the, the lady who cooks everything. This is great. So yeah, we go. It's quite a big cargo ship. It seems like on the river here. That's quite probably the biggest boat we've seen almost. Quite nice to see something like that. Quite large. Shows you the Mekong takes some big boats. amazing and this is where the family sleeps and uh, incredible all the space here's the bridge for the new speed train it's quite quite impressive just going under it now so the high speed train comes across there it's quite incredible technology So here is the Chinese dam we've all been hearing about, or the Lao, Laos dam. And uh, sadly, we don't know the environmental impact this is going to have, but never mind the social impact on the river. Uh, in four years' time, you probably won't be able to do this cruise anymore as it stands now. Very sad. So I don't know how far this uh, dam is going to stretch back up, but a lot of those. Uh, mountains and villages that we've just come past will be covered but uh, you know, that we don't know so this is where the dam is going to be one of the dams I believe they're, they're planning on seven along the, the Mekong I might be wrong on that but look at the big cranes wow change is coming to the Mekong River change is coming Yeah, we're coming here. We're going to come explore a cave. Uh, it should be great. One or two uh, other boats are here. But this, uh, it looks like the cave entrance in there. And we just stop here right on the side of the river. And we come explore the cave. So the cave is called Pako Cave. Pako Cave along the Mekong River. So yeah, it's a, a cave for the Buddhas and a place of worship. There's our boat down there, how the boat's coming in. I believe there are over 2,000 uh, Buddhist statues in this cave. we brought here by old Buddhist statues and new Buddhist statues as well. The second part of the cave temple complex and it's a heck of a lot of stairs. <laughs> We are battling 220 stairs, they say, and uh, but we needed to work out after sitting on the boat. So it looks like we're coming around the corner. And there we go. Here we at the entrance to the cave. Hey, oh, Marnie, are you still breathing? <laughs> <laughs> village of Bang Hang Zai and it uh, was founded in 1363 and there's a whiskey with the snake and I think it's got the scorpion 
and all of that in there. That is quite freaky. I am standing next to an American here on my left, and he's promised he's going to taste some. Oh, yeah. yeah Absolutely. I think he's from Alabama or Arkansas, or one of those places. Oh, that's right, Gardner. We're going to have some snakes. There's even scorpions and other kinds of snakes. And, and all in your centipedes. More snakes. Crazy, crazy stuff. Drinking our whiskey. It's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> it must be the snake. <laughs> Is Cindy trying the rice wine? Is that better? Only fifteen percent. Only fifteen percent. Much better. Yeah, as a gentleman, part of the the rice rice wine process. He's putting it into the fermentation barrels, I think. Or he's fermented it and putting it into smaller barrels. This seems to be the actual process now to make a uh, Leo Leo whiskey. Thing I village. An older lady, and she's weaving as well. This is beautiful. There's original zoom in that, this area. So in the village, they do all these materials and that. And uh, it is a bit touristy, but uh, these people are looming their own, their own materials. Beautiful colors, patterns. Really lovely. Really, really lovely.